Hello everyone. It's a beautiful rainy day and I'm out for my walk at lunchtime. Normally I sit inside, sit outside under my, my little tree today, but today I decided to just go for a walk and enjoy the rain and enjoy the fresh air and the fall leaves while we still have the beautiful decoration that's out, the leaves and all its splendor. I love rain. I'm one of those people who always finds it as a very cleansing and purifying time. My witchy magic, weather magic comes into play, I think, where I can feel the elements kind of bonding and coming together. So I just wanted to touch base with you all about the uh, throat chakra and see how you're doing. Um, I know that a lot of you tend to be healers which means a lot of you tend to be focused on the top chakras anyway, more connected to spirit and less to body. So I'm wondering if you're feeling wonderful or if you're struggling. Um, throat chakra has one of those blocks that I think just about everyone has a block in this chakra because it can come from day to day. You know, just, you know, I can't believe I said that or, or I wish I'd said this or you know, however you're responding in the day-to-day -day moment. So it always can use a good clearing and a good connection to it. Humming is the best way to connect to your throat chakra, simply making vibrations within your voice. So, you know, singing in the shower is good, but humming in the car. And, you know, the thing about me is I spent a lot of my life trying to be a an actress and so there was always this perfection on singing perfectly and you know being the best I was never that I always struggled with that and so I kind of stopped singing in a lot of ways I kind of cut that out and I realized as I've been older that it's just about the way it feels the vibration the connection you know allowing yourself just to really emit the frequencies, you know, that are within your body. And sometimes you'll notice when you start toning that the sounds don't sound good at the beginning, but because that's a part of you, it's not in harmony. And so the disharmony kind of pops it into place. So your homework for this week, as much as possible, is to hum. Hum. Um, just make the sound whenever you can hum it doesn't need a tune it doesn't need to sound it doesn't need a note it's just about you connecting to the ether connecting to your vibrations and feeling that connected on a side note spirit has kind of been guiding me to see if there are any of you in here who want to kind of do another version of the chakra detox on the way down. So it would almost be like a new class, except it would start the week of the, what, 22nd, the crown chakra week where we're fasting. And then we would go down from there. And um, a lot of the programs, like the affirmations and the blessings, would already be there. I'd continue to do the, the Friday night Reikis, and we could invite some more people in if they were interested, and I could repost some of the, the blessings and the affirmations that we've done. But let me know if that's something that you want to do, because Spirit was guiding me that I naturally also do a slow down where I slowly incorporate food back into my diet. And this series does not really offer that. It just kind of gets us up to the climax, which is the crown chakra of the full fasting detox, and then just kind of leaves us there. And so Spirit was saying, you know, you should do a wind down or a, a chakra grounding almost because it would be going from crown back down to root, slowly allowing us to put foods back in that are healthy and also kind of prepare us so that we, we don't go just, you know, overboard during the holidays. And if that is something you are interested in, please let me know and 
we can talk about that and um, communicate with each other about maybe the best way to do that. And I'm going to let you all go now so I can enjoy my beautiful rainy day. And I'm just going to turn it around so you can see how gorgeous it is. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful?